haven't talked to your district manager about it? Um, I haven't personally, but my store manager has. And is she, she here? She, yes, yeah, she is here. Can I speak to her? Yeah. Hi. Hi, dear. Yeah, your Wi-Fi's been out for a week. I know, we totally called it in, and they gave, they called us yesterday, and they were trying to troubleshoot it. And then they After said, a week of it being out, yeah. they called to troubleshoot it? Yeah, and then they, oh, we'll call you back. And they didn't even leave me a callback number. So they didn't I, give you a call back number. Yeah, and that was the unknown point. So I called this morning uh -huh. because our drive through screen was down. So I called everything in, and they were like, oh, yeah, it's a work in progress. And I was trying to get them to send a tech down, and it didn't work. So right now we're... When did it go down? It went down around like a week and a half ago, yeah. and I've been calling every other day, and it's just... They just won't come out. They just won't come out, and we didn't. We don't know what to do. Can I have your no district access. manager's phone number? Yeah, let me go grab that Thank real quick. I'm like, I should have her. No, because we're suffering too. No, I, I understand. Used to I, my data already. I, I don't understand. I've never seen a company just not care about its store having Wi-Fi. I yeah. mean, it's Starbucks. Uh, thank you. What's your name? Joyce. Joyce. Thank you, Joyce. I have to wait 180 more minutes for this to upload. It would have taken about 15 minutes if there was Wi-Fi. Thank you for calling Starbucks. We're here to help. Thank you for calling Starbucks. My name is Autumn. How can I help you? Hi, Autumn. Could I talk to a supervisor, please? Absolutely. What is it that I can assist you with? Well, I've already talked to, to the entry level people twice and no one's done anything, so I'd like to talk to a supervisor. Okay, I definitely understand. Um, do you have an account I can at least give the supervisor yeah, your absolutely. name? We'll uh, hear from me, sir. Yeah, look up. Do you want to put this on a brief hold no, so fine. I can get a supervisor? Thank you. We do have a supervisor, Linda, on the line. She's ready to take your call, okay? Thank you very much. Absolutely. Have a great day. Thank you for calling Starbucks. You too. Bye bye. I'm yes, I'm sorry, could you speak up though? I can barely hear you. Let me adjust my headset. Okay. Yeah. There we go, that's a little better. A little better? Okay. What's going on, sir? Did you have to speak to me? Yeah, what was your name again? I'm sorry? My name is Linda. Hi, Linda. Well, um, if you look at my account there, I've been calling in for now, it's been nine days that this Starbucks has been without Wi Fi. Nine days without Wi-Fi, and I'm, I'm, my mind is boggled that no one seems to be able to fix it. I just talked to the store manager, and she says somebody from tech support called her yesterday to troubleshoot. Is that normal Starbucks policy after a store has been without Wi-Fi for an entire week? Someone calls to troubleshoot it from the tech department? Because this is mind-boggling to me. Wow, yeah, I do apologize for that, sir. Um... With the tech, with the Wi-Fi, it is, um, what, I don't know if they were, were they aware of the situation, or? I've or been calling, I, I called you, I'm sorry, I called you guys last Monday, and I believe last Wednesday, to complain about the Wi-Fi. I was told that, uh, the information would go out to the district manager, and someone would fix it, and now it's a week later, and they're telling me that somebody from tech support just finally called them yesterday. But it's still not fixed. And it's still not fixed? Yeah, nine days. Me, um, what store is this at? I don't... It's the one that, the Sports Arena Boulevard one that I just purchased a beverage at. Okay, so let me go in here and look at your picture real quick. Okay. Yeah, it, it should have been addressed immediately. You think? As you think? Do. Right, especially because a lot of customers go into our, our location. Just to use the Wi-Fi, and they, they sit there for 
for hours and kind of do their business and so forth. That was the plan, and this is now the fourth time I've come to this location expecting to have Wi-Fi, only to have my day ruined. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a filmmaker, and I'm homeless, so the only way I can upload my films is with Wi-Fi. So I come down here, I expect to spend the day working on my films, and instead I'm uploading on 3G, which is the best I can get at this location, and it's taking ten times as long, because no one at Starbucks seems to know how to fix a Wi-Fi router. So I definitely apologize, sir. I will reach out to the store myself and see what's going on. Um, I'll give them a call and let them know that it definitely needs to be addressed. Um, I'm going to send a second request follow-up to the district manager, letting them know that this has been an ongoing issue. It's been over a week and the Wi-Fi still hasn't been good. Um, hopefully we'll get that resolved here in the next day or so. Um, let me see. For the inconvenience, I can definitely apply it like a credit to your account. Oh, I appreciate that. So, Oh, and hopefully when you go in, you can have a couple of, of beverages or some food items on me, okay? Oh, well, thank you. Let me go here and I can apply this credit for you. I'm going to apply a $25 credit. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. I do apologize. I'm not sure why it wasn't. It hasn't been addressed. And I, I actually, I talked. Yeah, I talked to the store manager a few minutes ago. She gave me the district manager number, and she actually told me to call you because she said they don't know what to do. They've been calling, and like I said, someone got back to them yesterday to troubleshoot. After it's been down a week, what kind of? I mean, I can't imagine some podunk little operation. Mom and pop operation letting their Wi-Fi go down for nine days. Never mind Starbucks. And this is a busy Starbucks right in the middle of Old Town. Absolutely. Yeah, that's definitely I'm called for. I do apologize for that, sir. Um, do you, you do have the, the DM's um, phone number? Yeah, I do. Okay, perfect. So if you want to reach out to her as well um, and let her know, I'm going to send this out as well to her and let her know that this issue has been ongoing. It looks like you did call in um, back on the, it looks like it was on the 25th, so it's some time now. I called the 25th and the 27th, I believe. Yeah, on the 27th as well. So, yeah, I definitely apologize for that. Um, hopefully this can get this resolved from the like in the next day or so. I'm going to reach out to the store and see if there's anything that they need from us to actually see if we can kind of um, speed along the process to get the white right um, up and running for them. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, I did um, um, add that $25 credit to your card as you did 3630. Um, so that does bring you to about $33. So hopefully you can have a couple of drinks on me for the inconvenience, and I definitely apologize for that. Um, if you don't, for some reason, um, give us a couple of things because I know if tech support has just look, contacted them today, then it's probably going to be like, hopefully it'll be resolved by the end of the day, but if not, give us at least 48 hours. Okay. And we should have that issue resolved, okay? All right. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Seth. You have a great day, okay? You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. That's why you have to ask for a supervisor.